Hello, Rocha readers. On July the 20th, 1973, Bruce Lee died. This year is the sixth anniversary of his death, and Roadshow readers are being given this special opportunity to hear Bruce Lee's own voice for the first time live on record. Toho Records Company Limited released the single on the 1st of June, and it contains highlights from Bruce Lee's recording, My Way of Kung Fu. It is autumn of 1972. A new star explodes across the world's movie screens with the force of a kung fu kick. His name is Bruce Lee. His meteoric rise to world acclaim is a well-known story. But where does this story really begin? Was it when Raymond Chow signed him to his first starring role in The Big Boss? Or many years before, when at 13, he first decided to study the martial arts? His first teacher, Bruce always maintained, was his father. And it was through his father that he had his introduction to the film world. And by the time he had reached his teens, Bruce Lee had appeared in more than 20 pictures. But wherever his path began, one thing is certain. After completing his role in the American television series, The Green Hornet, Bruce had firmly fixed his goals. To devote himself to the martial arts, and to become a filmmaker. Sometimes the way was hard and the setbacks many, but Bruce was more than equal. A good martial artist does not become tense but ready. Not thinking yet, not dreaming. Ready for whatever may come. Bruce drove himself hard to make each day one in which he improved himself both mentally and physically. In addition to his rigorous regimen of physical exercise, he read widely on the history and philosophy of every form of the fighting arts, both ancient and modern. And it was not by chance that Bruce Lee chose the path he did. A martial artist has to take responsibility for himself and to face the consequences of his own doing. The purpose of all his training and self-discipline was to achieve a total fluidity of force so that his body responded directly to a situation, neither consciously attacking nor defending, but feeling and responding. When the opponent expands, I contract. And when he contracts, I expand. And when there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. But what was his ultimate goal? What did Bruce Lee believe was the ultimate technique? To have no technique, there is no opponent. Because the word I does not exist. To approach these goals, complete physical fitness was essential. By way of this analogy in Cantonese, Bruce is saying that it is not knowing how that's important, it's doing, and that all the technique in the world is useless without the power to carry it out.